So here we are with the new X1 Carbon. Lenovo keeps refining this device and basically improving upon uh, where areas where it was kind of weak, but also making the areas where it's strong even better. In terms of display, you're looking at a 14 inch full HD, 1920 by 1080. We can also get it in a quad HD at 2560 by 1440. Those are IPS displays, non-touch, which I think actually makes sense for this device. It is more a traditional laptop. If you do want touch, you want to go to an X1 Yoga, which actually makes a little bit more sense since that's more of a two-in-one type device. Being a X1 Carbon, you do get to fold down to the 180 degree, but it's not a Yoga, so you're not going to be able to flip it around. Uh, but this is for more traditional people who don't need the two-in-one function. You just want the straight-up laptop. You do, of course, get that excellent keyboard on board. It's fully configurable. You get the Intel 6th Gen. Uh, that's always going to be the big thing here right now. We're always talking about the new Skylake processor, so basically thinner designs, lighter, also better uh, power efficiency and lower heat. Uh, so you get that uh, 6th Gen up to core i7 Pro with that up to 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, you also get the new fingerprint scanner, which was on the other uh, X1 before. And so this one, you don't swipe anymore. You're just going to touch it and it'll basically read your fingerprint very fast on these. Integrates with Windows Hello, so very good with that. Uh, trackpad feels really, really good on this. It's just uh, so silky smooth. I'm glad to see all the OEMs here making really, really nice trackpads on these devices, and I think this one feels really great, uh, especially since you can feel the difference when you come to the edge. It just feels really good there with your finger usage. Of course, you get the traditional Lenovo uh, things here with the, the, the hard buttons on top. Uh, just really great design. Coming around to the side here, you can see your standard port. You get your HDMI and USB 3.0 and headphone. Uh, really good things over here. Same thing on the other side. So, and of course, if you want to come around to the back here, you always get your uh, SD card slot on the back as well as your modem for LTE. So I've always liked that about the Lenovo series. You can basically throw on a modem into this, take it with you anywhere you want for full connectivity. One more thing that goes uh, unmentioned a lot of times, this is the power brick for the X1 Carbon. That's the current generation. It's actually pretty small and not a huge thing, but check out the size of the new one. So this is same 65 watt, but you can see the size difference is just, I mean, this is super tiny. Now, what's really neat about Lenovo stuff, they always have the quick charge feature. So when you plug in, you can basically charge up the device about 50%, usually in 30 minutes. Uh, and I've always been a big fan of that. And this does that as well. Uh, so for those of you guys who need to still pack the charger with you, uh, you're going to have a much smaller one with the new X1 Carbon X1 Yoga. There you go. Head to Windows Central for more information. You can look for this device starting in February. Price is going to be at $12.99 to begin at. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.